Welcome to the Gigabyte booth at Computex 2023. I'm Liam and I'm part of the marketing team for Gigabyte's enterprise products. And today I'll take you on a quick tour of our booth. We'll take a look at HPC, AI, cloud, edge, all these kinds of solutions, as well as liquid cooling solutions. We have single phase immersion cooling. We also have DLC cooling. So we offer everything under one umbrella. So please join me. Now we are at our data center wall that shows off our liquid cooling solutions. And as many people know, we've reached an era where now CPUs are reaching 300 to 400 watts, and we know we're gonna hit 500 pretty soon as well. So we've had to come up with some more cooling solutions to afford this kind of a density. We still use two U, four nodes, which means there's eight CPUs within this. But to cool down those 350 watt plus CPUs, you need to use direct liquid cooling or some other method where air cooling is not sufficient. It'll cause either the CPU to throttle or you to lose performance or some stability. So this is a very solid solution where we, we have a water block on top of our CPU that is in a closed loop. So it takes a liquid to the system, cools it off, brings it out. Either we use air to exhaust it, or we can hook it up to a water supply, which is very efficient to also remove the heat. So for these solutions, we have solutions that are for our ARM, uh, our ARM processors, the Ampere One. We also have ones for AMD Epic and Intel Xeon. So there's many different solutions. And one of our solutions, this one down here, it is focused on having GPUs as well. So you can have the CPUs liquid cooled, but at the same time, you also have GPUs in the system. So you can have up to eight GPUs in a 2U and have plenty of cooling. So here we're looking at some of the benefits of this liquid cooling. So the first is cool performance because we don't have to worry about the, how much power the CPUs take. We can cool it and they can run at peak performance stable. Uh, also, there's power saving. We eliminate fans. We could also eliminate some of the infrastructure in the room because the cooling takes place outside of this environment. Noise reduction also goes with the same suit. There's less fans, less noise. And then we have a very solid track record because we paired with a very high tech, very uh, respectable supplier of these kind of uh, solutions. And that is Cool IT. So that's a solid product. And over time, we have seen that it's very reliable and at the same, same time, easy to maintain. Now we are at our dedicated section for our cloud products. And because cloud service providers and uh, hostings have gotten more and more popular, we offer a lot of new solutions. These four servers that I have next to me are our new Ampere One servers. It's the new uh, chip that was just released about two weeks ago by Ampere Computing. So for this, we offer two different products. We offer a single socket server and a dual socket server. And with our dual socket servers, we offer a lot of storage options. We offer dedicated SATA as well as hybrid, so that NVMe and SATA drives are possible. Whereas on our 1U model, we focus more on NVMe drives, but there is support for SATA. But we know the importance of the speeds, so we also offer these. So, we have Ampere One, and then over here we have two of our servers. One's for the AMD uh, Epic platform, and the other one's from the Intel Xeon Scalable platform. And these are also very popular servers because they also support GPUs, like dual slot GPUs. This model supports four dual slot GPUs. So there's a lot of possibilities for how people can use these. Now this server is really interesting because it's a very low cost server, but how do we achieve that? Well. For this, we're using the AMD Ryzen 7000 series platform, which is a consumer chip, but placed into a server. And so just like any server, you need to have certain functionalities such as onboard BMC to control management and monitoring of the system. As well, we have redundant power supplies. So if by chance something happens with one, the backup will keep the system going without any issue. And because it is a consumer platform, we can still support four drives for SATA drives, as well as an onboard M.2 for uh, OS. Okay, so now we're looking at one of our One U servers. Very tiny, but you can see in the front, there's a lot of EDSF bays. So we can support up to 32 of these bays. And then in the middle, we've got support for two Xeon sockets. As well in the back, we have what's called the grade card. 
Uh, this is a car that's used for a raid, as well as to get better performance out of the, this many drives. Because for every CPU, they can support up to 16 of these drives. But to get the top performance, we need to include a new solution. And that's what Grade offers for us. One of the new applications we're seeing demand for nowadays is 5G and Edge. So we've designed some shorter depth servers that can support those kind of environments. We support Epic platform and as well as the Xeon platform. And this server that we're looking at here, it can support up to two dual slot GPUs. And it does so in a very short depth chassis. And this one over here can support even more single slot cards. So you can have up to four single slot cards on the Xeon platform, and you still have in the front SATA bays. Nowadays, we constantly hear about AI. We hear about AI training. Well, there's also AI inference, which is a very different application. And here we're showing one of our beasts of a system. It can support up to 16 single slot inference cards. And these are the Xilinx Alveo V70 AI accelerator. And each of these spots, traditionally, we would support two by 16 GPUs. But in this instance, we're using four slots and each by eight. So a total of eight cards per CPU. And on this platform, it's the AMD Epic platform. So here we're looking at the most powerful server you can find for HPC and AI training. This is one that Jensen was talking about recently as well. It's our G593 and it supports dual Xeon processors. And at the bottom, it has support for up to eight HDX H100 accelerators from NVIDIA. And this is a complete system because you can also get five years of the NVIDIA license, the enterprise AI license that comes with all H100 systems. And this is one of the very few that exist that actually are NVIDIA certified as well. So it makes our customers feel confident that when they deploy this, they can get it into their system quickly and have no problems. Here, we have a really interesting server. This one was just recently announced here at Computex. It's one of the first servers you'll see that has the gray super chip by NVIDIA. So in this server we're looking at, it can support up to eight of these gray CPUs. So per node, you can see there are two. So that's how the platform comes. One baseboard, two gray CPUs for a total of eight in the system. So this we're assuming is gonna have applications in the cloud as it's competing with the lower power, more energy efficient CPUs because it is ARM. So we just took a look at a cloud computing system that had two gray CPUs. Well, now you can see it's quite different. We have on top, we have the NVIDIA H100 GPU, and down below we have the NVIDIA Gray Super Chip. And again, because this is a multi-node server, we have four nodes of these, so it's designed for heterogeneous computing. And each of these modules can support up to 500, up to 800 uh, watts each. Last year, Gigabyte announced its first single phase immersion cooling system. And now we offer a complete solution. So for that, we have tanks, we have oil suppliers. We also have specifically designed servers, our immersion ready servers that are built for this purpose. And the reason why we've started to get into this new territory is because of the amount of heat that is being generated and the amount of power that's being used. So that's one of the big concerns nowadays is how do you be, become more efficient? Air cooling can only get to a certain point. DLC cooling can do a little bit better, but to get the best possible cooling and usage of your power, you have to go into immersion cooling. So with immersion cooling, we circulate the oil and the oil will transfer the heat into our CDU, which will then ex exchange with our water supply to remove it quickly. And so for these servers that are in the oil here, we have designed them specifically for this purpose. They're not meant to go in the racks, they're meant to be here. So they're designed to be placed in there. They're also designed to remove components such as fans or disable the power supply fan because you don't need it. So these are a really great solution for companies that are looking to find better ways to use their energy as well as to have good performance and longevity because it's been shown that this oil can last many, many years longer than the IT hardware inside. So at Gigabyte, we offer many all-in-one solutions for a single phase. Now, in this case, we're taking a look at a 12U design. The other ones were 18 and 21, but this one is more compact because it also has the CDU included, so it can be easily moved anywhere it's need to. And at the same time, because we are designing these for efficiency, it too can achieve those high performance levels of not wasting energy like in traditional air cooling. Also, 
this in this 12U system, it can support up to 40 kilowatts of IT hardware. So that's a lot of performance and a very small package, which is very desirable because most racks cannot even support this that much of uh, power and heat that's being generated. So this is a really unique solution, easy to deploy, easy to fit anywhere, and keeps everything very cool. Well, that wraps up the tour for today. I hope you learned a lot about our new enterprise products that are coming to the market and are already in the market. I'm Liam. You can always reach us at server.grp at gigacomputing.com. And also I, I encourage you to follow us on our socials to keep up to date on our new technology and new products that are coming out. Thank you.